The judge's decision, uh, while not a surprise, is a relief uh, for the family and for the state. After just a two-day bench trial, 16-year-old Anthony Hutchins found guilty of murder and child molesting in Superior Court. Hutchins was just 14 at the time of the crime, charged for killing Grace Ross in New Carlisle back in March of 2021. To the question of what happened it has really been fleshed out and the judge has, has ruled that beyond a reasonable doubt, the defendant is guilty of murder and child molesting as counts one and three were charged. In the emotional two-day trial, nine witnesses were called by the state, including Timothy Wiley, a St. Joseph County Metro homicide detective at the time, who interviewed Hutchins for hours the night Grace was found partially naked in the woods of New Carlisle. I saw uh, Grace as my own child, and I also saw Anthony as being my own child. Uh, professionally, every case matters. Every victim matters. Um, but personally, I wanted to see that we found the right answer, not just get a answer, we got the right answer. And that's, that's what I feel happened. The defense, however, calling no witnesses with hardly any cross-examination, but on Thursday asking the judge to have a psychologist to assist in the sentencing process, something they believe is crucial in this case. And while Grace's family and the state are satisfied with Thursday's verdict, prosecutor Christopher Frank says this is only half the battle. They're, they're relieved that this page has been turned and, and they're relieved at the result uh, at this point. Uh, but, you know, uh, sentencing is also a very big part of this and that's yet to come. Judge in this case could elect to sentence Anthony as a juvenile or he could just proceed and sentence Anthony as, as an adult, like he's been waived to adult court, so he could be sentenced as the adult that he's been determined to be. But uh, the, the options are much broader, and I think it would be reckless not to prepare for each and every one of those options. Safety is our charter, so we really need to consider those things and see if there's any competing interests or balancing things that go into play. And, you know, in fairness to Anthony himself, you know, th those things all matter. Now, Hutchins' sentencing is set for March 31st, and the state is pushing for him to be sentenced as an adult. However, the judge still has the option to sentence him as a juvenile, but the juvenile system only ages up to 21. And stay with ABC 57 News as we continue to follow that decision on March 31st. But for now, reporting live in South Bend, Nadja Woods, ABC 57 News.